When we hear melatonin, we almost universally think sleep. And that's correct. Melatonin is the hormone of darkness, secreted by your pineal gland in the brain in response to darkness, signaling to your body that it's time to rest. As a supplement, it's one of the most popular over-the-counter supplements in the world, used for jet lag, insomnia, and shift work disorder. But today, we're going to explore a different, less discussed facet of this hormone, its intricate relationship with your cardiovascular system, and why a groundbreaking new study is forcing us to ask difficult questions about its long-term safety. Before we get to the concerning news, it's crucial to understand why scientists have been so optimistic about melatonin for heart health. Research over the past two decades has revealed that we have melatonin receptors not just in the brain, but also in blood vessels and heart cells. This suggests it plays a direct role in cardiovascular function. Here are the key protective mechanisms we believe it has. Melatonin is a potent scavenger of free radicals, reducing oxidative stress, a key driver of atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, and heart failure. It appears to help lower blood pressure, particularly at night, nocturnal dipping, which is a crucial marker of cardiovascular health. Some studies suggest it can modestly improve cholesterol levels. It helps the endothelium, the inner lining of blood vessels, relax and function properly, improving blood flow. It may improve insulin sensitivity, which is beneficial for overall metabolic and heart health. Given this impressive resume, you might think, why isn't everyone on melatonin? This, this is where the new research comes in. A large-scale study published in 2024 in the journal Frontiers in Pharmacology has cast a shadow over this optimistic picture. Let's break it down. This was a massive analysis of data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, NCHANES, involving over 21,000 U.S. adults. The study found a significant association between long-term melatonin use and a markedly increased risk of cardiovascular mortality. Specifically, they observed a 49% increased risk of death from heart disease among long-term users compared to non-users. This was a correlation observed in a large population. It does not prove that melatonin caused the heart deaths, but the signal was strong enough to demand our attention. This is the most critical slide of our lecture. We must be careful not to misinterpret these results. It proves a correlation or an association. There is a statistical link between long-term melatonin use and higher heart-related deaths in this specific population. It does not prove causation. It does not show that taking melatonin pills directly damages the heart. This is the leading hypothesis. People who take melatonin long-term are often those with severe chronic sleep problems. We know that poor sleep itself is a major independent risk factor for heart disease, hypertension, and diabetes. It's very possible that the underlying severe sleep disorder, not the melatonin, is the true driver of the increased cardiovascular risk. The melatonin users may simply have been sicker to begin with. The study attempted to control for factors like age, sex, and BMI, but it's impossible to account for every variable. The most concerning but unproven possibility is that long-term, high-dose, exogenous, supplemental melatonin could have an unknown negative effect on the cardiovascular system that outweighs its theoretical benefits. So what does this mean for you or your patients? We are not at a point where we should panic, but we are at a point where we must be more thoughtful.